convey the message that the players need to bottle the emotion that they felt tonight, the disappointment, and make sure that they do not feel that disappointment again in the title race? I tried to give a lot of clarity in the dressing room, and it was only that the message, you know, accept it so late, we have to learn from it, but uh, there's no point now spending one bit of energy or thoughts uh, that is going to take anything out of Osunda because we're going to have to be at our best again in the Premier League against Palace to beat them. And uh, I want everybody just recovering mentally and physically to be in the best possible condition for, for the game. You were up against Patrick Vieira at the weekend. How well did you get to know him when you were both part of the City Football Group? Not a lot because uh, it was for a short period of time because he went to, um, to New York City afterwards. So. I don't know. Obviously, I have come across with him, and I know him well, and um, and it will be a tough game. Thinking Palace have won this year, does that make them a more dangerous opponent in some ways? Because it Batman has to end at some point. Yeah, and I think they shown that against Brighton. So um, we have to be again better than today in, in many departments with the same desire and um, and do what we have to do to win the game. Well, we have to see, obviously, a lot of players play 120 minutes that um, we didn't want to do, especially with the amount of minutes that some players have played. But um, we will see uh, who is available, in which condition, and put the best team out there to, to win it. Where does this rank, given the position it can put you in and the fact you're going to have a break afterwards, where would, and given the disappointment tonight, where does that game on Sunday rank in terms of the most important games? Well, the, the most important one... Sorry. The most important one, probably, because uh, it's the only game that we have before the break, and uh, and if we do what we have to do, um, we're going to be in a really strong position. Okay, it's, it's obviously very raw tonight, but, but people often say that from the hardest moments the, in adversity, that's when you learn more than when you win, and you've obviously had a lot of games that you've won this season. Do you think that longer term, what's happened tonight can harm you a better? Yeah, and I've seen a lot of things tonight, especially when we were giving a lot of balls away and suffering that they did it together. The way they reacted, the way uh, when we conceded the goal and, and how the game changed after that, it shows me a lot of positive signs. Um, the, the downside to it is that we could not materialize to at the end win it because at the end I think we decided to, to win it and be through, but uh, it wasn't enough, it was maybe too late. Because you've got a break coming up, um, if a player was 50-50 fitness wise after tonight, would you risk him? A player that is 50-50 cannot play in the Premier League. You have to be 90-200 to play at the level that we need uh, in this league. But uh, it's still 48 hours to recover, to assess everybody, and, and hopefully they will recover well. Okay. I don't know. Everybody tries to respond the best possible way, but at the end, is we have to do it on the pitch. But you've obviously, at times last season, struggled. But this this season, what you've seen and the way your team come back, does that give you confidence that you can? It gives me confidence because I see them today, the way they react again, and how much they want it. The way they played the last 20 minutes uh, and under fatigue, uh, the way they tried, the way they were tracking back. The, the body language that they had between them. So I'm sure they will try their best, but then we have to be better than the opponent. Last one, Dan. What can you actually, what will you do and what can you do with your players over the next 